Hi all, my name is Sarika Tulsiani. And today in this video, we are going to look at the concept of installments at simple and compound interest. We'll also solve a few sums regarding the same. Okay? Now, installments is a topic, is a very, very common topic as far as CAT, SNAP and banking exams is concerned. And a lot of you have actually asked us to make videos on installments since quite a long time. So here we are presenting you the video of installments and I hope this helps. Before starting with the sums, let's understand ki installment hai kya? What is the concept of installment? Suppose if I tell you, I borrow from you 1000 rupees. Okay, I borrow from you 1000 rupees at let's say 10% per annum and I promise to return it to you after 3 years. But I am saying that I will give you three equal installments at the end of every year. Okay, I'm going to give you three equal installments. And let's say this is a simple interest problem. Okay, it's a simple interest problem. So I am telling you, let's say the installment I pay you at, at the end of every year is let's say X rupees. Okay, her year ke end me, I will X rupees. Okay, I have borrowed how much borrow kitna kiya hai? I have borrowed 1000 rupees. Rate of interest is 10% per annum for 3 years. So, if I ask you what is the total simple interest? Total simple interest is what? So, total simple interest is PRN by 100. So, principal is 1000 rupees. Rate is 10%. Number of years is 3 upon 100. So, these two zeros will get cancelled. 10 into 10 is 100, 100 into 3 is 300. So simple interest is 300 rupees. So if I ask you, amount is how much pay? So the amount is 1000 plus 300 rupees, which is 1300 rupees. So after 3 years, I have to return you 1300 rupees. So this is my debt. Okay, this is my debt. This is the total money I have to return at the end of 3 years. Now, like I told you, first year ke end me, me aapko dungi x rupees. Second year ke end me, me aapko dungi x rupees. Third year ke end me, me aapko dungi x rupees. So I am giving you an installment of x rupees every year. Ab kya hoga? Dekho. First year ke end me, me ne aapko de diya x rupees. Abhi is x rupees pe, basically kya hoga? Is x rupees pe, you will be getting interest also. So, ये first year के end में pay कर दिया है, तो आपको इस पे interest मिलेगा for two years. So, x तो मिलेगा, plus x into 10% per annum for two years upon 100, इतना interest भी मिलेगा. Again, second year के end में I pay you x rupees. So, again you will get interest on this x rupees also. So, you will get an interest on this x rupees for one year because this is second to the third year. So, that will be only one year. So, this will be plus x at 10% for one year upon 100. Okay? Now, at the end of the third year, I am paying you only x rupees. Okay? At the end of the third year. So, I have given you all the money. Pura paisa de diya. So, is pe tumko koi interest nahi milega kyunki mene pura debt de diya. So, the total money will be x plus x plus x which is 3x plus this will be 20x upon 100 plus 10x upon 100 will become 30x upon 100. So, this total money which is the total principal plus the total interest should accumulate up to 1300. It should accumulate to 1300. So, you have to just calculate the value of x. And x in this case is your installment. Okay? So, this is the concept of installment. So, what is happening x as an installment to tumko dena hi hai. You have to give x rupees as an installment. But on top of it, you are going to get interest also on that x rupees. So, the accumulation of everything that is your installment plus the interest is the total money you are supposed to return. So if you just simplify this, what will happen is I can take x common. This will be 3 plus 30 upon 100 will become 3 by 10, which is equal to 1300. So this will be x into 10 threes are 30, 
plus 3 will become 33 upon 10 is equal to 1300. So your x will be 1300 into 10 upon 33. So your x ka value comes out to be 393.9 which you can even round it off to 394. So this is the annual installment you have to give at the end of every year. Theak hai? Now let's look at a word problem to understand the concept of installment at simple interest easily. Let's look at the problem. What does it say? What annual installment will discharge a debt of 1060 due in 4 years at 4% per annum simple interest? So they are asking you annual installment kitna lagega? So at the end of the 4 years, tumko 1060 pay karna hai. Theak hai? 4 years mein and the rate of interest is 4% per annum. Let's try to solve this sum in a different way. Suppose if I tell you, Let's say the installment every year to be paid is 100 rupees. Okay, every year I have 100 rupees pay karna hai installment. Ka. So first year mein, I'm going to pay 100. Second year mein, I'm going to pay 100. Third year mein, I'll be paying 100. And fourth year mein, I'll be paying 100. So 100, 100, 100, 100 to pay karna hi hai. But us pe mereko interest bhi milega. Okay, so on the first 100, I will get an interest for the next 3 years hai, at 4% per annum. So that is 100 rupees pay, 4% per annum pay, I will get for 3 years some interest. So this becomes 12 rupees. Okay, so I will get 12 rupees ka interest milega on the first installment of 100 rupees. Now on the second installment of 100 rupees, I am going to get uh, an interest for the two years that is the third and the fourth year so four percent of hundred is four rupees two saal interest milega so that will become eight rupees either three years tha to twelve ho gaya either two saal hai to eight rupees ho jayega now for the third year yaha pe mene installment pay kiya hundred rupees ka abhi yaha pe again I will get an interest for one year thik hai ek saal ka interest mujhe milega so 4% of 100 is 4 rupees. ठीक है? And at the end of the fourth year, I am paying this 100 rupees. तो इस पे मेरे को कोई interest नहीं मिलेगा. So the total money I have to pay is this 400 rupees plus 12 plus 8 is 20. 20 plus 4 is 24. So I have to pay a total of 424. This is my total debt. If my installment is 100. Hai? So understand, my debt would be 424, but actually their debt is 1060. Hai? It is 1060. So my installment, which is 100 rupees, is there how much? Hai? Is there how much? It comes out to be 250 rupees. So the actual installment to be paid is 250. And this is your answer. Now, let's look at the concept of installments at compound interest. It is the same as simple interest, only the way of calculating interest changes. That's it. So, let's look at the same example. Suppose if I borrowed 1000 rupees from you again for a period of 3 years at a rate of 10% per annum. Okay? I promise to return it to you at the end of 3 years. But I have to return it to you in three equal annual installments. The first thing is, what is the total money I'm supposed to return? So we know the total money is your amount. An amount will be your principal into 1 plus rate of interest is 10% upon 100 raised to 3. Okay, because 3 years. So this will become 1000 into 10 plus 1 is 11. Okay, so that is 11 upon 10 the whole cube. So 10 cube is 1000 and 1000 will get cancelled. So 1331. So this 1331 is my total debt. Itna hai at the end of 3 years. Correct? But the question is, I have to give it to you in 3 equal annual installments. So what should be the value of each installment? Okay, now understand. 
सपोज आई प्रोमिस टू गिव इट टू यू एट एन इंस्टॉलमेंट ऑफ एक्स रुपीज एवरी ईयर ठीक है तो फर्स्ट ईयर के एंड में आई गिव यू एक्स रुपीज सेकेंड ईयर के एंड में आई गिव यू एक्स रुपीज थर्ड ईयर के एंड में आई गिव यू एक्स रुपीज तो फर्स्ट ईयर के बाद एक्स सेकेंड ईयर के बाद एक्स थर्ड ईयर के बाद एक्स ना द थिंग इज आफ्टर द फर्स्ट ईयर आई एम ऑलरेडी पेइंग यू एक्स रुपीज बट ऑन दिस एक्स रुपीज यू आर गोइंग टू गेट एन इंटरेस्ट फॉर टू ईयर्स सो इंटरेस्ट फॉर टू ईयर्स एट टेन परसेंट पर एन एम सो दैट विल बिकम वन पॉइंट टू वन ठीक है वी आर यूजिंग द कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ मल्टीप्लाइंग फैक्टर टू ईयर्स का इंटरेस्ट टेन परसेंट टेन परसेंट सो इट विल बिकम वन पॉइंट टू वन Now on the second x rupees, ये second x rupees I'm giving it to you at the end of the second year. Second year के end में दिया है तो इसके ऊपर भी you will get interest for one year. That is second year to the third year. So this will get multiplied with 1.1 because the rate of interest is 10%. परसेंट एंड द थर्ड एक्स रुपीज आई एम गिविंग इट टू यू एट द एंड ऑफ द थर्ड ईयर सो दिस इज नॉट गोइंग टू गिव यू एनी इंटरेस्ट ठीक है सो द एडिशन ऑफ एवरी should be equal to 1331 because this is the total money i have to give you so what will i do is i'll take x common x is your installment value that will be 1.21 plus 1.1 plus 1 is equal to 1331 so this will be x into 3.31 is 1331 so your x ka value will be 1331 divided by 3.31 so this comes out to be 402.1 or you can even round it off and write it as 402 rupees so this is every year ka installment i am supposed to give you at the end of the year theek hai so this is the concept of installments at compound interest Now let's look at a question on installments at compound interest. What does it say? Binod takes a loan of rupees eighty four hundred at ten percent per annum compounded annually to be repaid in two annual installments at the end of each year. What is the value of each installment? ठीक है What is the value of each installment? Now understand. उसने लोन लिया एटी फोर हंड्रेड का ही इज टेकन अ लोन ऑफ एटी फोर हंड्रेड सो योर प्रिंसिपल वैल्यू इज एटी फोर हंड्रेड ठीक है दिस इज नॉट द अमाउंट ऑन दिस ही हैज टू पे इंटरेस्ट ऑल्सो द रेट ऑफ इंटरेस्ट इज टेन परसेंट पर एनम एंड इट इज टू बी पेड इन टू एनुअल इंस्टॉलमेंट्स एट द एंड ऑफ ईच ईयर मतलब ही हैज टू रिटर्न द लोन इन टू ईयर्स टू ईयर्स के बाद लोन रिटर्न करना है सो इफ आई आस्क यू वॉट इज द अमाउंट वैल्यू इट विल बी एटी फोर हंड्रेड इन टू वन पॉइंट वन का स्क्वेयर ठीक है बिकॉज टेन परसेंट पर ईयर दो ईयर्स है सो वन पॉइंट वन का स्क्वेयर सो आई कैन राइट दिस एज एटी फोर हंड्रेड इन टू इलेवन अपॉन टेन इन टू इलेवन अपॉन टेन यू कैन मल्टीप्लाई एंड कैलकुलेट ऑल्सो बट दैट इज नॉट रिक्वायर्ड ठीक है सो दिस इज योर टोटल डेट Now the thing is, you have to return it in two equal annual installments. ठीक है? Let's say the installment in this case is hundred rupees. So we are assuming, ठीक है? We are assuming it to be hundred rupees. तो first year के end में you have to give hundred. Second year के end में also Binod has to give hundred. ठीक है? But what happens is, first year पे जो hundred देगा उस पे द अदर पर्सन विल गेट एन इंटरेस्ट फॉर वन ईयर तो दैट मीन्स हंड्रेड तो देगा प्लस उस पर टेन परसेंट का इंटरेस्ट भी मिलेगा सो टेन परसेंट ऑफ हंड्रेड इज टेन रुपीज ठीक है सेकेंड ईयर के एंड में सो सेकेंड ईयर के एंड में ही इज गिविंग अनदर हंड्रेड रुपीज अभी इस पे ही इज नॉट गोइंग टू गेट एनी इंटरेस्ट बिकॉज दिस इज इक्वल टू द टोटल डेट सो इफ आई आस्क वॉट इज द टोटल डेट That will be hundred plus hundred two hundred plus ten, which is two hundred and ten rupees. So our debt is two hundred and ten, but their debt is this value. ठीक है, so that is eighty four hundred into one twenty one upon hundred. So basically your zeros will get cancelled. ठीक है, so our two ten is their this value. So our instalment, which is hundred, is their How much? ठीक है इज देयर हाउ मच सो इफ यू कैलक्युलेट दिस विल बी हंड्रेड इंटू एटी फोर 
इंटू वन ट्वेंटी वन अपॉन टू टेन ठीक है जीरो जीरो विल गेट कैंसिल ट्वेंटी वन वन जा ट्वेंटी वन फोर जा सो दिस विल बिकम वन ट्वेंटी वन इंटू फोर इज फोर एटी फोर इंटू दिस टेन विल बिकम जीरो सो योर फाइनल वैल्यू इज फोर एट फोर जीरो सो द इंस्टॉलमेंट विच ही हैज टू गिव एट द एंड ऑफ एवरी ईयर इज फोर एट फोर जीरो टू डिस्चार्ज अ डेट ऑफ एटी फोर हंड्रेड आफ्टर टू ईयर्स so in this video we have seen the concept of installments add simple and compound interest both also we have seen a few examples for the same in the next video we'll be solving some more questions on installments so that your concept becomes completely clear if you understood the video if you like the video if you found it to be useful please give it a like do subscribe to my channel and if you think any of your friends are preparing who are preparing for aptitude exams might need it please do share with your friends as well thank you so much